and for the first time on the tour we have rain here at the Gymnasio Escrima in Buenos Aires. The team, by the way, is not the country districts. It was decided subsequently that they wouldn't be strong enough to meet the Welsh touring party. So instead, it's an Argentine C selection, which means that in the last two games and this one, we'll have seen about the 40 best players in the Argentine. And there's one player from third division who's making history, the first third division player to have been selected in a representative side, and he's Faraiolo, number four, one of the forwards. For Wales, all the players who've only had one game are having their second game today, so that the selectors after today can have a look at the real strength of the Welsh touring party for the big test, the big game, the next game against the Pumas. But now, under the rain, and making us feel even more homesick than we normally are, we prepare for this game between the Welsh 15 and the Argentine C selection. Wales playing from left to right and Ferguson to start. The Welsh team in red here, the C selection in green, and the Welsh players with white bands on the tops of their stockings. And this type of kickoff now becoming almost standard practice all over the rugby playing world. <laughs> And it's Pimentel to restart for the Seas. We'll call them the Seas. This is the Sea selection. And that very nearly went stress. It went straight out. And Bob Phillips, the Welsh linesman, so it'll be a scrum back on the 25. The uh, halfbacks set up for the Seas at uh, inside half. Gomez Aparicio, who played wing forward for Belgrano when Gravin was playing inside half. And the outside half, Pimentel of Cassi, Club Atletico San Isidro. At scrum half for Wales with the ball now, Terry Evans of Newbridge, playing his second game out here. And he's gone left there, Bennett misses it, and John Williams will have to come quickly. Dawes is there inside his own half. And a knock-on set scrum inside the Welsh half. Bad pass there by Evans to Bennett. Gomez Aparicio. And here's the first penalty of the game for offside against the Welsh back row and a penalty with Pagano coming up. No, he's not. Are they going to try it? Yes, it is. And it's number six. That's O'Reilly. Two of the back row here, O'Reilly and Morgan. Not much doubt about what part of the world their ancestors came from. O'Reilly, number six. He, too, is a Cassie player. Club Atletico San Isidro. Four minutes gone, O'Reilly again with a slightly longer kick than one he had previously. It's a better one. And just under the crossbar as it goes over the dead ball line. <laughs> Phil Bennett restarting. And that could be a knock-on there. Yes, it was. Number 11 there is Reynolds of the Old Georgians. And play now on the halfway line. Terry Evans of Newbridge <coughs> into the scrum. Quick heel there. And the referee wants the scrum again. A lot of nonsense going on in the front row. Welsh front row of Williams, Reese and Butler, Nicola Toribio and Carluccio for the seaside. A lot of hacking and pulling. And it's a penalty for offside against the seaside. And they're thinking of having a go. Yes, it's Ferguson coming up. Stuart Ferguson in his second game to see if he can make it 3-0 from just inside the seaside's half. This will be a good kick if he gets it. But Ferguson kicked quite well in the only game he's played so far. Nearly six minutes gone. A foothold easier to make with the rain that's been falling and Ferguson trying to make it 3-0 for Wales. Head well down. It's, he's pulled it a bit and just under the crossbar again and a touchdown for a 25 dropout. Max Wilshire under it there. And a good kick by... No. Up to Pagano at full back there. 
And not a lot of ground gained as Bob Phillips puts his flag up midway between the 25, the seaside 25 and the halfway line. Ferguson into the line out. And that's as clean a line as we've had. Baxter there to Evans, to Bennett, to Glenn Ball, to Dawes. Williams the extra man. Williams now to Andy Morgan. Morgan back to Dawes again. And all Dawes can do there very wisely, I believe, is to kick the touch and find it just outside the seaside 25. The right wing for the seaside is Perez, the man they call Loco. <coughs> no, it's not. It's Fiordalisi program misled us there it's field Alisi into the line out on the far side and well taken there in the line out by the Welsh forwards the heel blocked and as Baxter gets it it'll be a set scrum Gomez Aparicio the seaside inside half who played wing forward for Belgrano in the first game of the tour when Luko Gradin was at scrum half for the club side. Eight minutes gone, still no score, and that didn't look straight to me, but anyway, it's an extra man coming in and a bad kick there, and it's Dennis Hughes with it. Dennis Hughes with an offside decision, scrum or kick, and it'll be the kick just on the seaside ten-yard line. Stuart Ferguson of Swansea. No score as yet. The penalty from just inside the sea selection 10-yard line. And that's a good one. And it's there. Wales 3. The sea selection nil after nine minutes play in the first half. And with just under 10 minutes left in the first half, that's still the score. The penalty goal kicked after nine minutes for Wales by Ferguson. The Argentine sea selection have been in the Welsh half for pretty well most of the last 10 minutes after having been defending for most of the game. But nothing great from either side so far in this game. And Alan John coming around there to grab his opposite number, Carluccio. And there's nothing materialising from the loose ball at all. Just outside the Welsh 25 and it's just... Bing, bang, bong, and a penalty to the Argentine, and yet again, they have a chance to make it three all in the second minute of extra time. And this will be some 35 yards, 40 maybe, with the angle, and it's O'Reilly to take the kick again. Three minutes of extra time in the first half. And can O'Reilly make it three all just on the half-time whistle? And that's the best kick he's had. And it's over. Three all. And it's very nearly half-time. Stuart Ferguson coming up to restart the game and it's a little easier to place the ball today than it has been because of the rain we've had before and during this game. And Ferguson getting it over the crossbar and that could have been a knock on there and he's waiting for the whistle and it is the whistle and a chance for Wales to go ahead now because of that knock, knock on behind the line with the referee facing the five yards right in front of the posts. 44 minutes have gone since the first whistle was blown. And here's a chance for Wales to go ahead in extra time of the first half. Evans to the, to the scrum. 
and Bennett standing back in a perfect drop goal position. We haven't seen a drop kick by either side on this tour so far. Evans to the scrum, just in front of the Argentine posts. And has Toribio got it against the head? And what's happened here? He's. It's a penalty against the Welsh front row, and Senior Elizalde wants to have a word with Walter Williams, the prop, the Neath forward. He has a word with them, and now the Argentinians are out of trouble again after Wales attacking now with very nearly 45 minutes gone since the beginning of the game. And it's Pagano coming up to take the kick. And the Welsh looking... Oh, it, the Welsh seem to be charging that. I can't think why. Because it, it, we thought it was a penalty. Anyway, it's halfway. And the score, three all after a fairly dull and uninteresting first half. And a penalty to each side was the only score in the first half. And we rejoin the game now in the second half. Selection out of sea of the Argentine playing from left to right. And it's O'Reilly, the place kicker, up to the Welsh line. And out of play for a 25 drop kick. The light more dull here now than it's been right throughout the tour. We've had some rain and it's cloudy overhead. And Phil Bennett calling everyone back. Number one underneath it there was Nicola, but it's well back there to Gomez Aparuccio and Baxter there. Baxter in a little bit of trouble and it, he nearly got kicked there, but what a pity this has happened. It could have been just an ordinary tackle that and the referee now is going to have a word with both captains and with both packs of forwards. Have a set scrum midway between the Welsh 25 and the halfway line. And the front row there having a lot of trouble, particularly between Arluccio and Butler. Gomez Aparicio to the scrum. Argentine have it. Reverse pass, which went awry. Number 11 there, Reynolds. And now it's Perez. Perez with Ferguson challenging him. He very nearly got past him, and he put a foot out of play. But a good run there, and the first attempt at a three-quarter movement by the Argentine side in this game. Ferguson to the line-out. And a shrill blast there means a penalty to the Argentine for a line-out offence. And it's Pagano coming up to try to make it 6-3. But no, he's decided, as skipper, that O'Reilly shall take another kick. 11 minutes gone in the second half, and O'Reilly now with about his seventh attempt, only one of which so far has been successful, and this was for a late tackle by Alan John on Nesta Perez, Loco Perez, the Argentine left wing. And here's O'Reilly with a kick to try and make it 6-3. And this looks a good one. And it's over, and the Argentine side have gone into the lead after 11 minutes. <laughs> 25 minutes gone in the second half. And the Argentine side containing Wales so far and attacking at the moment. They've been in the Welsh half of the field for most of this half. And Evans there in trouble from Aparicio, Gomez Aparicio that is, is one of these highly specialized double-barreled Argentinian names that you have to be rather careful with. Gomez Aparicio to the scrum again and this time it'll be a penalty to Wales for a scrummage infringement. Terry Evans to take the quick one to Bennett. Bennett to Dawes inside. Bennett and Dawes working the scissors and now Walter Williams up to the halfway line. The big Neath Farmer. Now can the forwards gather round and can we get possession? Yes, that's the spirit. Bennett now to Dawes, to Glenn Ball. John Williams making the extra man. And now it's Ferguson. Can he go through? No, he's out of play. But at least a great effort there by Wales to open it up and throw it along the three-quarter line. Just outside the Argentinian 25. And the rain belting down now, making us feel more homesick than we normally are. And it'll be Perez 
Loco Perez limping a little to throw to the line out and not much of a gap there now halfway down and good possession there Evans to Bennett a good pass and now ball trying to make the break once again ball back there now and it's Alan John there John Williams up again in the line and the referee has blown up for a set scrum and Alan John in a little bit of trouble again there with Gomez Aparicio 27 minutes gone in the second half Wales down 6-3 and play in the Argentine half of the field. Gomez Aparicio to the set scrum. Goes blind and slices his kick a little. And it's offside, I think. Offside against one of the Argentinian players there. And an opportunity for Wales to make it six all with a kickable position. No, they're going to take the quicker. They throw it about. Evans there to Bennett. Bennett coming across. And now it's Baxter there with it, just outside the 25. Baxter to Brian Reese. Wiltshire now with a very pathetic attempt at a drop kick. What did he think he was doing there? And it's Pagano back there. And he hasn't touched it down yet. As Dennis Hughes comes up towards him, so does Alan John. And he goes through the motions of touching it down. Pimentel with a dropout, but there was a man in front and it'll be a set scrum on the 25. This referee certainly watching both sides today and penalising the Argentinians almost as much as the Welsh. On the Argentine 25, just over 12 minutes left for play. Dennis Evans to the scrum. A good heel, surely offside there. Anyway, it's gone to Bennett, yes. It was offside there against the Argentinian back row. And a great chance here for Wales to make it six all in the middle of the field, just inside the Argentinian 25. And John Dawes, the skipper, coming up to try to do it. John Dawes now coming round the corner, as they do. And can he make it six all? Yes, he has. Six all and 11 minutes left for play. Well now, Wales have got just over 10 minutes left and if they can only throw it about as they did in the last game here, they could bring off another victory. They thought that in this seaside they didn't have a very great opposition but it's been a fairly scrappy game. Can Wales now produce for us in the last 10 minutes the sort of play that we saw in the last game here? Outside half Pimentel of Cassie to restart the game. And it's over the dead ball for a 25 dropout. Rain still falling here in Buenos Aires. The umbrellas up all around the ground. Of the smallest crowd of the tour so far. And Bennett to restart the game. And oh, Bennett badly obstructed there. And what's the referee going to do? He's giving a penalty to Wales for that obstruction on Bennett after he'd taken the quick dropout. And it's Evans with the kick to Bennett. And now Bennett giving it out. And it's John Dawes there, the Welsh captain, finding touch just on the halfway line. On the halfway line, 10 minutes to go. And Perez to the line out. Beautifully back there to Evans, to Bennett. Glenn Ball waiting for it, he's got it to Dawes. Dawes the little kick. And Morgan's underneath it on his own 25. He hasn't called for the mark. Can Wales now get possession and throw it back? Come on, get it back, he said. No, but it's a, an Argentinian boot that puts it out of play just outside the Argentine 25. But Wales looking a little more dangerous now. Number 16, Andy Morgan. And can Evans get it? Yes, but the referee's whistle blows and we'll have a set scrum on the Argentine 25. Defending scrum half with the ball just outside the Argentine 25. And we'll have it in again, says the referee. Can Reese get it against the head this time? This is where Wales really want it. But no, Toribio's got it for the Argentine, but anyway, it's gone loose. And now it's Bennett to Dawes. 
to Ball. Can Ball beat his man and make the opening? No, he's brought down and now it's a chance as Ferguson is there. Can Ferguson work his way inside? Now, good passing there by the Welsh. Could produce a score, but no, it was a forward pass or a knock on and we'll have a set scrum. Uh, but Wales very much on the attack. Wales attacking now. Just about eight minutes left for play. Have they got it from the scrum? Yes, slowly, but let's have it in again. Reese had it against the head there, but not, a, not to the referee's satisfaction. Gomez Aparicio with a put in again. This time the Argentine have it to Perez on the left wing, and we'll have it in again. Wales with not long to go now, seven and a half minutes, if they're going to get another victory out here in South America. The light fading now for the first time on this tour. The rain producing bad light for us, and the referee... Blowing up and giving a penalty to Wales in the 33rd minute of this second half. And we're going to see if Wales can take a lead through a penalty in the closing minutes of this game. Phil Bennett with a penalty. The first time we've seen him taking a penalty kick on this tour. And it's not a bad try, but it's... Yes, it's over. Both flags have gone up. And Wales leading 9-6. The entire scoring being by penalties. And that was a, a blast for a foot up, I think, in the scrum. And a penalty to the Argentine C selection. Surely they do an up and under now. No, they're kicking for touch because it's when they, which is rather, rather bad tactics, but the Welsh team hadn't retired 10 yards, so they'll have to take it again. 43 minutes played so far. And it's Pimentel, number 10 there, the outside half, no. It's going now to Toribio, the hooker, number two, and he'll take the short one, which seems quite unnecessary to me. He doesn't seem to do anything but waste time. And now that's the sort of tactic you want, but it's a bit too far. John Williams, beautifully positioned, outside his own 25, and a lovely kick to touch. And we're taking play back now onto the Argentinian 10-yard line. Wales 9, the Argentine C selection 6, and 43 and a half minutes already played. Perez to the line-out, wasn't straight, and a set scrum. On the Argentine 10-yard line, good heel there by Brian Reese, but the whistle goes, and it's a penalty to the Argentine. 44 minutes gone now since the second half started, and it's a quick one there by uh, Gomez Aparicio. John Williams inside his own 25, Takes it beautifully, doing a Jarrett on the far side of the field. And play now midway, Welsh 25 and halfway line. But that's the end of the play, and Wales have won an unsatisfactory game. Nine points to six.